Lake Gutenfels, situated on a rocky ridge above the pretty little town of Kau. It was built in 1220. It was used with Fats Grafenstein in the middle of the Rhine and the fortified town of Kaub to provide impenetrable toll zone for the Holy Roman Emperor until Prussia purchased the area and ended the toll in 1867. In 1252, the German King William of Holland laid siege to the castle, its owners being supporters of the anti-King Conrad IV. This castle, primarily owned by the Falkenstein family since 1257, is one of the most important examples of the Hohenstaufen military and house construction style at the Rhine. Since 1277, it has been a castle of the Electorate of Palatinate. It was in the King's Hall that Count Adolf of Nassau, who later became king, accepted his election. King Ludwig the Bavarian favored the castle and several times held court there. In the Bavarian Palatinate War of Succession of 1503-1507, Landgrave William of Hessen besieged the town and castle for 39 days but had to withdraw without result. After that unsuccessful siege, the castle was rebuilt in 1508 and was renamed Gutenfels, which means solid rock. Now let's see the timeline of the castle. In 1631, the Swedish allies of Hessen under General von Uchtet surprised Gutenfels, which surrendered in 1632. In 1635, it was occupied by the Imperial and Hessen Darmstadt troops. Ten years later, they were dislodged by the French. In 1647, the castle yielded to General Mortagu after one day's bombardment. In 1793, the castle surrendered to the French. Between 1805 to 1813, the castle contents were put up for sale, such as the woodwork and the masonry. In 1833, the archivist Friedrich Habel acquired the ruins and rescued it from further destruction. In 1888, it came into the possession of the architect Gustavo Walter of Cologne, who renovated it from 1889 to 1892. Between 1952 to 54, it was adopted as a rest home and for a short time after served as a youth meeting place. Until 2006, it was a hotel. And as of today, it is a private residence with no visiting times. But like us, you can follow the trail along the vineyards outside the castle itself with the magnificent view of the town and the Rhine. So that's it for the history of Burg Gutenfels. Until next time, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, come on guys, hit the bell! For notifications! And don't forget to share! And like!